Students of crisis management are learning from the Fukushima nuclear disaster. As far away as France, they're studying the actions of the nuclear plant manager whose quick thinking saved a desperate situation from becoming unimaginably worse. NHK World's Masami Hori reports. Frank Garnieri is a researcher in risk and crisis management at one of France's leading institutions. He has been studying the accident at the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant. Garnieri and his team have interviewed nearly 30 government officials, experts, and employees at Tokyo Electric Power Company who were active during the aftermath of the 2011 disaster. Garnieri is particularly interested in the actions of the late Masao Yoshida, the plant manager at the time. Some months after the disaster, Yoshida told the government about what he did. The transcript, titled The Yoshida Testimony, was released in 2014. When Garnieri saw it, he decided to publish it in French. The job of rendering Yoshida's entire 28-hour testimony into French was recently completed. The translation takes up three volumes, two of which are now in print. This is the first time the testimony of a plant manager has been made public. In the Three Mile Island and Chernobyl accidents, the plant managers did not give testimony. Rather than simply focusing on the events and facts of the disaster, Garnieri and his team are especially interested in Yoshida's emotional and psychological state as the person in charge of the accident response. These are some of his statements. There was no manual for this situation. To put it bluntly, I realized I'd have to rely on my intuition and judgment. If we had stopped injecting water into the reactors, it would have been catastrophic, so I decided to continue. Those words indicate that he had to make decisions based on information that was potentially incorrect. The Yoshida testimony is quite different from other official accounts. Those tend to include little of the human element. France now operates more than 50 nuclear power plants, which supply 70% of the nation's electricity. To date, there haven't been any major nuclear accidents. Garnieri believes the officials at these French nuclear power plants need to read Yoshida's testimony. Recently, Garnieri met with the director of the French Alternative Energies and Atomic Energy Commission on the outskirts of Paris. He stressed the unique importance of the Yoshida document, and he urged them to devise safety measures for extreme situations. There will be no progress in risk management unless we learn from other people's experience and improve as human beings. Nuclear power plants need to improve their risk management by facing up to the disastrous events in Fukushima. Two years after the nuclear accident, Yoshida died of cancer. Garnieri is now intent on spreading the lessons of his testimony to make sure such a tragedy never happens again. Masami Hori, NHK World, Paris.